Hi friends, I'm Jason. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Adventuring with Wild Horses. We're going to get our new Bronco soon. We're just getting our trails ready down here at Area 52 for some good fun. More to follow. Hey Marx, yeah. guess what? What? Got your new horse. You want to go pick it up? Are you serious? Yeah. I can stop. Okay, I'll wait for you outside. Marsh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, not quite that kind of horse. I just bought you this Bronco, okay? And <laughs> I want you to remember this place, Bob Davidson Ford, because while I bought you the Bronco, I bought me the six year bumper to bumper warranty plan. So if you have a problem with it, don't tell me. <laughs> Show up here, here's your registration, <laughs> good luck on your way. <laughs> friends we're back with our 2021 Bronco we're gonna do a walk around here in a moment we've been very excited about getting this it's been a long wait um, over the whole COVID situation everything got delayed and um, we kept getting the order pop up and it was delayed and then delayed but it finally is here um, we were actually the first ones uh, from Bob Davidson to get our Bronco and um, we're super happy with it so far. This is a Badlands model. Uh, we did opt for the, the bigger motor, the 2.7 liter. Uh, we have the crawl gear and um, a lot of other really cool features we're gonna go over. And, uh, and Ford, uh, I was never really a Ford guy. Um, a few years ago, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to some really cool Ford products and uh, I later I ended up getting uh, the, the Spec 5 RTR Mustang and, uh, and now we have the Bronco and, and I just can't say enough the, the cool things that Ford did with this vehicle to just make it next level. Um, so something we're really excited about, I'm going to share some of these features with you uh, and yeah we're going to do a walk around. Okay, so as we're getting to our walk around, um, you know I see a lot of these walk around videos and I just want to start off with like neglected walk around video so look this here is just this is your basic standard antenna like it whips around it gets perfect fm am channels i think maybe even does a little bit of serious i'm not sure but look don't disclude the antenna i mean you need the antenna it's almost like feeler whiskers on a cat so that being said now that we know about the antenna let's talk about some other cool things that this this vehicle has so 
Badlands model. Um, we've got these cool uh, over fenders for protection. Um, we'll zoom in here, and we uh, Ford actually made these uh, these little like plastic keys in here that you can kind of like key this, and it comes off. So I, I think this probably comes off without any any real tools. Um, this one is rocking some 33-ish inch uh, tires, BF Goodrich. Um, these won't be on here a week. Um, we got some 37s coming for uh, some nicer wheels. Um, you'll see that shortly. So uh, we got the the washout marine grade vinyl interior and the washout floors. You can see the plugs here, um, which really fits our lifestyle. You can see we already got the doors off. We already got it dirty on the first day, taking it riding around in the woods in the quarry. And um, we have the, the hard removable top. Um, it was actually another three month wait if we wanted to get the painted top. Uh, we could have got the soft top, but we did want the hard top. We're gonna we're gonna do some overlanding, probably put a tent up here, maybe one of those uh, cool wrap around umbrellas um, for some you know some some good solid protection uh, we did get the four-door model um, these doors also come off back seat folds down gives you a little bit more storage for you know again for adventure off-roading okay we're now gonna hop inside we're gonna check out some cool features on the dash um, so if you guys can follow me on in and here we are um, we'll go ahead through a startup. Got the cool horse on the screen. Um, a lot of really cool features, um, apps. Uh, what's really awesome, um, I'm sure you guys have seen in some of the commercials, this goat mode. You have this world over here that kind of spins around and gives you all these different uh, terrains that you might be wanting to transverse over. We're going to go into Baja mode so you guys can check out the cameras. So, here's our, our forward-facing driving camera, which is a really cool feature. The big screen, we did opt to get that. You can get a three-way angle front screen, so you really take in the side print as well. Um, you can then also see uh, rooftop 360 degrees. And we've tested this out. We're not really sure how these cameras are stitching it all together, but um, things that are right up close to it, you can actually see those things. Um, this is awesome for crawling. So this is actually cameras on the front two wheels. You got both your right and your left wheels here, and you can see what those tires are sitting on. So if you're trying to get a well-placed rock and your spotter out there is maybe not paying attention like they should, Click on your camera, and you can kind of do it yourself. Um, Ford was really looking out for us in that in that scenario. Um, click again off of from uh, in, on your goat mode button to uh, to rock crawl, and uh, you'll have to go into neutral for this. So. It's given us a lot of alerts for that, but we are now in rock crawl. So the trans transfer case is actually in four low. We have the rear diff locked. The, uh, the sway bar is disconnected, and we can go one step farther and lock the front diff. So we have true four-wheel pulling motion right now to go ahead and get us up and over whatever cool obstacle that we want to go across. Um, and then with the sway bar un unhooked, it also allows it to articulate uh, across things and and keep a balance. Um, so these are again, these are really really cool modes that um, are going to be a lot of fun off road, and we're really looking forward to it. Um, another button we have up here is what they call one wheel, and what this will do is this will actually lock whichever inside rear wheel you have. Uh, when you're on a hill or in a tight spot that you need to kind of pivot around, it'll break on that wheel only and still give power to the other wheels, which will help you rotate in place to make a really tight turn. And, um, you know, it was showed to me by a friend, and 
you could literally just spin right on around a tree or some sort of obstacle if you need to. So, again, another really cool feature. Um, something else you can choose to do is uh, there's a feature called One Pedal, um, and you'll use the gas pedal uh, to give throttle. And as you let your foot off of it, it will automatically apply brakes. So if you're in a, a touchy downhill um, descent and you need to keep control, rather than having to two foot between gas and brake, you literally have that feature built in on the pedal. And um, again, it's a it's a real good feature. Um, it, it'll it'll definitely help a lot of people that are new to the sport to be able to. Uh, to do some more aggressive things uh, and maintain good control. So, more to follow. We're going to go to the back and uh, we're going to talk about some things that we're going to do back there. Uh, before we do, I guess we'll talk about these cool auxiliary switches. Um, Ford put these taps in, so you can literally tap in under the hood on these and... Um, this could be your light bar, this could be, you know, ground lights, rock lights, under lights, whatever other features you may or may not want there. Uh, but they're already set up, so you have the switches built in, uh, you tap into them out there and put a fuse in and you're, you're ready to go. Uh, another cool thing Ford added to, uh, to the Bronco is this uh, wireless charging station. It's kind of cool. You can just stick your phone there and it will automatically start charging. Yes, no wires. If you feel like you need a hard connection, they also give a couple ports here that you can plug a USB in. But uh, it is, in fact, charging just sitting there. Really cool technology. I think they stole it from the aliens or something, but it works. Um, they also got a, a charging station up here on the dash, um, which is uh, just another place where you can plug into. Um, we have the garage door, program it yourself opener. Um, a lot of a lot of nice buttons on the dash for some hands-free operation. Tilt steering. Um, it is actually tilt and telescoping, which is gonna be nice for, for different sized people we're gonna go ahead and move to the back now and talk about the the cargo area okay we got our spare tire here hopefully we don't need that our backup camera this awesome big barn door style swing around which actually opens pretty wide um, pretty cool about that actually no buttons after you open to raise this which is another nice feature and we're going to do some build out here again for some overlanding. Um, we got a, a tray that we're going to build that that'll bolt in here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove these these tie down points, um, and we are going to uh, bolt in our, our tray there. Uh, we have a drawer with a 12 volt refrigerator that's going to go on here, and some other accessories that we're going to have for that. We're actually going to build a table, a fold-down table here. Um, you, you see a lot of people have them out there, and I haven't found one that's available for the Bronco yet. So in the meantime, we're definitely going to go ahead and, and build one for our use. Uh, we'll get some cool videos of us building that. But, uh, yeah, this is a good storage area. Um, again, washout. Got some extra things here. Jack, another little storage hole. Um... The seats, uh, again, they fold down and they'll give all the space open. And uh, we have a 12 volt port back here, which is again going to be nice for our, our 12 volt refrigerator cooler that we're going to have built in. And yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to doing these modifications. This is going to be uh, this is going to be fun. And uh, I think uh, I think we'll move around. We're going to look under the hood, talk about the front bumper, and then we're going to. Uh, we're going to maybe start uh, looking at some products that we're going to put in. Okay, so we're going to get the hood popped here and get a look at what we have underneath. We have uh, 2.7 liters dual overhead cam, uh, four valves per cylinder. 
and twin turbos worth of fun under here. If I remember right, seeing the numbers is uh, somewhere over 300 horsepower, um, which in this light configuration is uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Um, don't have any projected mods at the moment for, for what we will do to the motor um, as we are finding that the power is more than sufficient. Um, it's not to say that we won't change up and do a little something fun and extra later, but uh, at the moment we're, uh, we're going to run with the stock power plant and uh, we're going to actually keep the, the noise down um, so we can kind of enjoy peace of mind and enjoy nature when we're out there in the trails. Um, Grill's going to get swapped out here in the near future. You can watch for that video. Uh, we do have a camera on the front. We ended up getting the, the steel fabricated bumper, I believe they call it, uh, which has the skid plates built into it. It seems like it might be maybe 12 to 14 gauge metal that they built this out of. Uh, it does have the sensors in it. We are going to be mounting a wench up here. Um, I, I I was looking at this this morning, and I'm kind of feeling like I'm probably going to either be cutting on this bumper, or I'm going to be just building another bumper from scratch to co accommodate getting a wench mounted in here. I want to keep it in nice and tight to the, the vehicle so we don't distract from our approach angle. Um, this is going to be a this is going to be a mod that's going to get done here in the next few days uh, before we go on our first uh, off-roading trip to South Dakota. Um, so, don't have a full plan of what it's going to be yet, but we will figure it out, and we are going to stuff a, a 9,500 or 10,000 pound wench in here, and uh, that's the plan. I hope you guys like this walk around. Um, I hope that you find this to be good information. Yeah. And so if you like what we're showing you, link and subscribe to us and uh, you can get some more good examples of my bad acting and hopefully I'm giving you, the, again, good information. But uh, we'll put it out there for you anyway. If you don't like it, tell us. And, uh, well, I'm not going to say we're going to get any better, but, well, at least you got to tell us. See you guys next time.